Hello, welcome to the data structure and algorithms online tutorial video. In the previous video, we learned about the data structure. In this video, we will learn about the arrays. Let us have a quick look on overview of the things you are going to learn in this video. What is an array? Properties of an array? Syntax of an array? Accessing an element? Updating index value? Need of using the array? The complexity of array? Advantages of array and memory allocation of array. First, we will understand what is an array. The collection of similar types of items is called an array. Each data item is called an element of the array. The data type of an element may be any valid data type like char, int, float, or double. The array can be one dimensional, two dimensional, or multi dimensional. Here you can see the example of an array where values of array are 11, 7, 6, 3, 4, 8, 9, 1. Array index value starts from 0. Array length is 8. First index is lower bound and the last index is upper bound. Let us see the properties of array. Array contains a group of similar type of elements. Array elements are stored in contiguous memory blocks. The first element stored in the array is smallest memory location. Arrays use numeric indexing. Arrays index start with 0 and ends with minus 1. Size of array can be dynamic or static. Element of an array can be accessed using its index. Elements of the array are accessed randomly and calculate the address of each element of array using the base address and the size of given data element. Syntax of an array. The array is defined using square brackets. It varies from language to language, but square brackets are used to define an array. Let us see how we can define array in C. We will declare the size of array in square bracket and then array elements in flower bracket. In prices, size 4 is equal to in flower braces 10, 20, 30, 40. Accessing an element. We need the following information to access any random element in an array. Base address of the array. Size of an element in bytes. Which type of indexing array follows? Address of element of one dimensional array can be calculated by using the following formula. Byte address of an element A of i is equal to base address plus size into i first index. An element can be accessed using an index. Let's access an element. Define array in JavaScript. Let prices equal to 10, 20, 30, 40. Console.log of prices of 2. Updating index value. An array index value can be updated by overriding n value. Let's update some values. Define array in JavaScript. Let prices equal to 10, 20, 30, 40. Update index value 0 value to 5. Prices 0 equal to 5. Console dot log of prices 5, 20, 30, 40. Need of using array. To store a large amount of data, we need to define a large number of variables. It becomes very difficult to remember variable names. It is best practice to define an array and store all the elements of similar data types instead of naming all the variables in different names. Complexity of array. Average case of access is big O of 1. Worst case of access is also big O of 1. Average case of search is big O of n. Worst case of search is big O of n. And it is the same for insertion and deletion. Space complexity. In array, space complexity for worst case is big O of n. Advantages of array are single name is used for the group of variables of same type. Hence, it is easy to remember the name of all elements of an array. Traversing in an array is very simple. As we do it just by incrementing the base address of the array in order to visit each element one by one. Elements in an array can be directly accessed by using the index. Memory allocation of array. As data elements of an array are stored contiguously in the main memory, the memory of array represents the base address or the address of the first element. Each element of the array is represented by an index of the number. The indexing of the array is defined in three ways. Zero-based indexing. The first element of the array will be array of zero. 
1 based indexing, the first element of the array will be array of 1. N based indexing, the first element of the array can reside at any random index number. In the next video, you will learn about linked list. For detailed notes and examples, you can install the DSA application from Google Play Store or from the link given in the description below. Please like the video, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit on bell icon to get notified whenever we post new videos. Thank you for watching. If you have any queries, let us know in the comment section below.